a lot of companies in the startup world were focused on A B testing. Uh, there, there, there. There's a whole slew of service providers online, like Optimizely.com or Visual Website Optimizer.com. Even Google Analytics allows companies to do A/B testing. So if I have a sign-up page on i6sigma.com, for example, I can test how many people come to the page uh, and click and sign up with a green button versus an orange button on the side. Um, so that's a b testing or one factor at a time testing you know i change one factor and i measure it what makes doe different from these other testing techniques like one factor at a time or educated guess guesses or a b testing that's a, a great question mike because that's the heart and soul of doe why why would i want to use a doe when I was taught in high school to do one factor at a time testing, when my chemistry teacher says, when you want to see the effect of, of temperature on this uh, experiment, right. you got to hold everything else the same and you just change that one thing. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see what effect it has on your, your yield or whatever you're measuring for a response or an output. How misinformed are we because we're teaching people at the very young stages of their life uh, to do this AB or one factor at a time testing? Um, and, uh, you know, there's other, there's, there's different criteria or what I should say attributes of DOE like replication, randomization, which we'll talk about a little bit later when we get into the examples. But the one, the one characteristic of DOE that it, it distinguishes it from everything else is the concept of orthogonality. Orthogonality allows, and that's how we distinguish DOE, a DOE is a testing technique that has an orthogonal design or nearly orthogonal design. Now what orthogonality buys us is the ability to evaluate these factors, their effects and the interactions independently from one another. That key word is independent evaluation. And what does independent evaluation buy us? Well, independent evaluation buys us the ability to get to root cause, that is cause and effect relationships. And cause and effect relationships, root cause analysis today is tough stuff, Mike. People make light of it. It is hard because of those doggone combination effects, right, those right. interaction effects. So if you have orthogonal designs, orthogonality buys you the ability to evaluate the effects independently. Independence allows you to buy the ability to get to root cause analysis. And of course, if you can find root causes of problems, Guess what? Your decision making is enhanced, and of course, the financial, uh, you know, aspect will also be enhanced. So that's that's uh, the orthogonality aspect. Okay, and so that all makes sense to me, Mark. You know, I I, I think most of the people that watch the show are educated, like you and I are, and they can understand that you're saying orthogonality is this concept that allows you to evaluate the factors independently so you don't see the bias you you don't have results that are confounded is another word that like That's you right. know means that the results you're seeing are actually affected by something else that you're not anticipating so that makes sense but then i just go back to my to my real world example where i've got a sign up page on i6sigma.com and i want to uh you know the output variable variable from what you were telling me earlier was i want people to actually sign up Maybe it's put in an email address and click the um, the sign up button, right? And so A B testing would tell me, or or you know my my fifth grade science teacher would tell me, start off with an orange button, change it to a green button, see how much that affects it. Uh, then go from whichever one's better. That's new your, now your base. Now change it from a green button with um, a sans serif font to a, a sans font. Uh, and so it feels more like a typewriter. Maybe that will affect people. And, you know, every industry and every group of people is different. And you might say that the business, uh, you know, the, the Fortune 100, which come to visit i6sigma.com to learn about concepts like DOE would be more attuned to a, a font that looks like a typewriter, let's say. And so they're going to get a higher click-through rate on that. Will DOE allow me to say my output is signups on this page? Now I want to look at all the factors that are involved and just solve it once so I'm not doing A-B testing for the rest of my life? Abs absolutely, Mike. That's the beauty and the power of DOE. You can test multiple things simultaneously, 
and still evaluate the effects independently. Orthogonality means balance in the design. That is, get back to your font and your color thing. You, you now home in on either orange or green, and then you start changing the fonts. There's a way to test those simultaneously so that you have balance in the design, and that balance will allow you to get that independent evaluation. We'll talk a little bit about that in one of the examples that we do. Great. All right. Because all of our designs, all of our DOEs, all of our testing strategies are going to be orthogonal or nearly orthogonal.